Hi everyone, welcome back to Yakuza. It's time. We haven't played in a hot minute. I miss our boys. Things were happening. Happy Friday. How's everyone doing? Let's play Yakuza. Heck yeah. For everyone that has forgotten what's been going on, that's okay because we get this lovely reminder of what happened last time. But, um,. You know, we've, we've saved Zhao. Zhao is now part of the team. We might actually get to hang out with our lovely daddy figure, Aoki, a.k.a. Arakawa of the baby boy has been evil, and we don't know where the hell he lands on anything right now, and I'm real worried. But our boy is safe in that. Welcome to a very brief observation of what has happened in terrible explanation. <laughs> Hi everyone, how are we doing tonight? <laughs> Lizzie B, Alexis, Snake Eyes, Kamla, how are we doing? Are we excited? Oh, hi, thanks everyone for lining up in a row for this introduction. <laughs> That's all good. <laughs> That's great. Why were you all lined up like that? Um, so let's do a quick side quest. Because there was a man with a Roomba, and then there's a man somewhere down here that was just in, um... He seemed to be covered in bubbles. So I left that for on-screen time because I did not know what he was doing. <laughs> because it seemed like he was only covered in bubbles. So I was like, oh, chat will like this. I'll stay here. <laughs> but first, let's talk to a man, and he had Roombas. And he wants a lot of money from me, but I finally have money. <laughs> Single file, everybody. You're missing kindergarten rope to keep everyone together. <laughs> uh, you know what? No. I'm, I'm gonna... Oh, I can't flee, I don't think. Nope, I gotta wait till I get to the, the boy. He is the main controller of the party doing anything. We're gonna flee. Can I flee? Death Hmm. I've forgotten- oh wait, LB, that's how I flee. Nope, that's not how I flee. That's because I'm not holding LB. Flee! There was no escape! <laughs> Hi Bongolas, how are you doing tonight? Alright, oh, I was training the boy to, um, be a fortune teller, because why not? <laughs> He has a large lead ball to throw at people now. <laughs> also look, I upgraded the bat. It's now gold and covered in spikes and lightning and I love it and I'm very excited. <laughs> Made Silver Leaf, we did a quick uh, Discord poll. I was like, alright, do we want... Yakuza or Pokemon tonight, and we'll do Pokemon because Yakuza clearly won. <laughs> um, so we'll do that tomorrow. Or not tomorrow. <laughs> Sunday or Monday, depending on which day I decide to stream it up. News! What's an eight hour stream at 4 a.m.? <laughs> no. That's, that's an early butt stream. Um, Who wants to go? go all the way over there. Right. Ruining my plan to do nonsense. Bring it on. Just 
Actually, yes. Cover everyone's HP. There we go. Last man. This is the worst. Bam. Alright. Ooh, you gave me much money. Rank up. Level up. Look at me go. Yeah. Alright. Where is the man with the Roomba? He's over here. This man, this crazy, crazy man, wanted a lot of money from me, so that he can make street-sized Roombas. Yeah. Lord Shrub, because of our hair. <laughs> How goes it? I'm still here, welcoming all funds I can get. I need a million yen. I do care to invest. Have a million yen. Boop. <laughs> yeah, it makes a million. <laughs> I'm having a hard time just believing you. I handed you a million yen. <laughs> All right, thanks to you, Lord Shrub. I'm truly, truly grateful. Now, without any further de delay, I'm heading back to the lab. Yeah. Looking forward to what an increase in size will do for the Soji name. You will be in awe. I will message you once it's done. <laughs> you best prepare yourself. Sure. I don't know what he's doing, but he wanted a million yen to upsize Roombas so that they clean dead. I thought that sounded great. <laughs> So he can have a million. Yen. I no, care not. Alright, now I need to show you the bubble man. Because, uh, bubble bubble. He is just there. He was naked. And therefore we're gonna go find him. Right here. Which is conveniently right next to where we need to be. But we're gonna do bubble man first. You would think with all the hair jokes, each you would get a haircut. Uh, I think they talked about it at one point, didn't they? Where it's just like, oh, well, it's just part of his identity now. We can't get rid of it. <laughs> He's the precious boy with, like, it was weird going back and seeing, like, his actual hair from back in the day when we did that little flashback. I was just like, oh wait, he doesn't have his crazy mane. I kind of am sad and missing it. <laughs> Which is hilarious, because in the beginning of the game, I loved his original hair. And now I'm just like, no, that's wrong. <laughs> As happens. Game, you can do it. Oh, the new Soji model is complete. Oh, that's nice. I, I came here for bubbles. Looks like the Soji's all done. Be in front of Janai Station. I could swing oh, okay, by when I, I can. Nope. You're going. Down this alley? No, if I go over a little bit, I can just go down the alley that I happened to cross this man. Go. You. He's right here. So, there's this man. So, I don't know what's going on, but he wanted help. I said no for now, and now we're back to him. He's just dripping wet and covered in bubbles. <laughs> so let's see what's up. <laughs> that guy's still there. Hey, um, do you think you can help me? <laughs> let's hear him out. Uh... Help you with what? Uh, to tell you the truth, I need to hop a train to Tokyo as soon as possible. But I don't have any clothes. You don't have any clothes? Uh, yeah. All I've got are these bubbles. Bubbles? What are you talking about? Here, see for yourself. Oh my, look at that. <laughs> he stood up. <laughs> mm, right, well, don't catch a cold. See ya. Wait, please, don't you see? I can't get on a train like this. Yo, back off. You're getting bubbles everywhere. How'd you even end up like that in the first place? The hell are your clothes? Well, 
Earlier today, I was enjoying my time at a soap land, getting nice and sudsy. <gasps> it's this suds on breasts. Sean is just so cute. We finally found uh -huh. suds on breasts. Suddenly, while I'm doing the old slip and slide, I get a phone call from my grandfather. He's not really the type to call, so I got curious and answered. You answered? Well, you were in a soap land? No. passed out, he tells me. Of course, I'm a major grandma's boy, so I immediately start panicking. All I can think about is getting to the hospital, so I shake off Mika-chan and the bouncers and slip through the door, bubbles popping the whole way. But with the way I am now, I'll get caught before I even make it to the station. Yeah, no shit. I'm begging you. Can I borrow your clothes? No. Ah, no way. Trademark suit. Uh, figures. I wouldn't want to lend my clothes to a bubble man either. <laughs> yep. So, can't you just go back to the soap land and get your clothes? Yeah, about that. Apparently, running out the front door naked is pretty frowned upon at such an establishment, so I'm now banned from entering. I tried to go back in and get dressed, but the bouncers tossed me out, so here I am, stuck between a very slippery rock and a hard place. If you won't let me borrow your clothes, can you at least take me to a clothing store? A clothing store? That's right. There's no telling how much longer these bubbles will last. I have to get clothes and hurry to the hospital before I'm hanging out for all the world to see. In that case, why don't I just buy you some? There's no time for that. Let me just what buy you some clothes. To my grandma while you're out shopping. <laughs> and if we don't pick out something in my size or my style for that matter, we'll just be wasting even more time. You're seriously thinking about style right now? <laughs> Thank you, Itchy. Okay, if you're not worried about it, just go to the store yourself. Believe me, I would. But it's too risky trying to get there without the bubbles falling off. And to top it off, what about all the wet pockets around here? There's a good chance the bubbles will get washed away. Wet pockets? Okay. <laughs> one puddle, one little splish of water. These bubbles get washed away and I'm arrested on the spot. And then I can kiss both my grandma and my freedom goodbye. Sir, just That's let us go buy you clothes. Right now. <laughs> Think you can get me over to a clothing store while avoiding any and all water? I'm begging you. Please. Please! Is this gonna be like an escort mission? There's a clothing store in the shopping district. Do I help the guy out? I mean, yes. All right. We'll escort mission. You. Escort oh, mission. Really? <laughs> You're a lifesaver. We just have to get to the store without getting you wet, right? Yes, please. Oh, uh, my name's Awano, by the way. I'm Kasuga. Oh, no, why are your oh, let's get you dressed pants you bubbles get such different color? Okay, gotta move carefully and avoid water at all costs. Man had sex with Mitsune. <laughs> Alright, escort mission it is for Bubble Man. He actually like oh hey okay, he is with us. <laughs> I don't see any water yet. I feel like something's just gonna pop out. I'm not gonna be prepared for it at all. All right, where are we going? Here. I'm assuming. That that place is popping. All right. We're just gonna take you on a trek through a bunch of people. Ah, I see the water. What are you doing, child? You are just like spraying water everywhere for absolutely no point because you're not getting it on any of your plant. That's for sure. All right, here we go. I see some water up there, so we're gonna go this way. Grandma just seems to be throwing her water out onto the main walk. Oh, I see another one over there. We just got the fire station casually rinsing off the uh, road. 
that must be a thing. Are, are they practicing fire progress? All right. Eww. Clothing store. Ooh, glad we got you here without uh hanging out. <laughs> Thanks a million. Be right back. Okay. Sure, go ahead. I'm coming, Grandma! Please don't shout that when you're just covered in gut bubbles. <laughs> hmm? Wait, are they really gonna let him shop like that? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> huh? Ew, you pervert, get out of here! Wait, please, I just need to buy some clothes. Here we go. Kazuga, tell her it's a misunderstanding. <laughs> They're gonna lock me up at this rate. And just when we got to the store, it doesn't end, does it? Hey. Look, about my friend here. He's on his way out of a sofa and he's just a pervert. It's a long story. <laughs> um. <laughs> I wanna do this because it's just a random. <laughs> but I feel like that's not what our boy would do. <laughs> it's a long story. Passion went up. There's a reason this dude's naked. Is there? Uh -huh. Yeah. His grandma just passed out. He was in the bath when he got a message and couldn't ignore it, so he ran out without thinking. His grandma passed out? Yeah. Yeah. Do him a favor and sell him some clothes, please. He already made enough of a scene. I'm just trying to help this fool get to the hospital to see his grandma. Oh, okay, I understand. In that case, right this way. Man, if something ridiculous is with a serious face, people buy it just about anything. <laughs> Excuse me, you got extra fancy clothes. <laughs> I was able to get some clothes. Oh, that's good. But now that I think about it, how'd you pay for them? Weren't you naked? <laughs> the clerk saw me crying while I was picking out clothes and let me put it on a tab. A tab? At a clothing store? <laughs> I'm forever in your debt. And with that, I'm off to see my grandma. Okay. Yeah, get going. All right, bye. <laughs> Hope his grandma's okay. All right then. <laughs> we helped the bubble man. Hey. That end the mission? I can't okay. go see him again. Where's he gonna be? Oh, right back down here. Boop. Crossing the street. Oh, you know what? We're gonna quickly eat something. Oh wait, this is just a normal store. No, I want to eat. Prepare my food. Shut up. Nope. Oh, you guys are babies. I can handle it. No problem. Bob Cutter. Goodbye. Fashion police. With that outfit and that hair? I think not. Um, you're paralyzed, so we're just gonna walk right by you. This game really does have amazing side quests, right? Like, I can't help but do them because they're just so great. I should probably switch Nanba off of Fortune Teller while we are playing just because uh, he's baby at it and therefore doesn't have a whole lot of good skills currently. Um, what's directional doom do? Damage an enemy with a gemstone after reading their unlucky fortune. Yeah, why not? Oh! 
You just kick that at him. All right. <laughs> Go see how our sudsy friend fared. Who knows why he opted to come right back to this spot. I assume this is the soap land? Yo! If it isn't Awano! Oh, uh, Kasuga-san! Nice to see you again! So this is the Kasuga-san that helped you. That's right, the very same. I wanted to say thank you. My grandmother's alive and well and out of the hospital. Hey, good to hear. I heard about how far you were willing to go for this silly boy. Sorry for all the trouble. Nah, Does she know you were at a soap land? I'm just glad he was able to see you. <laughs> my, I didn't know gentlemen like you still existed. Here's my thanks for taking care of my grandson. Mysterious blush. Y you sure? Thank you very much. So where are you off to now? Huh? Oh, well, I'm gonna take my grandma somewhere special to celebrate her recovery. Where would you like to go, grandma? Let's see. A hot spring would be lovely. A hot spring? Yeah, I could go for a bath. Well, we should get going. Take care, Kasuga-san. Thank you very much. Sure thing. Take care of your grandma. Of course. Sheesh. Didn't know bathing could run in the family. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> How's our dumpster diver? Let's go see him. I think it's right... Yeah, right there. So if we just go... Up, over, down. Do that. Thing is, we're in the neighborhood, anyways. And it's conveniently right near our quest location, so that works out perfectly. Excuse me, I'm here for a dumpster diver. Shut up. Nope. Not gonna let me through. Prepare to die. I love how Zhao just sits there and taunts them from the background. You can always just hear him being like, Ooh, I'm coming for you. Alright, dumpster diver man, are you alive and not murdered by the Yakuza? Mm. Ahoy there! After all that belly aching, you came yeah. back. I just came to see how things were. So, you find anything today? I'm fishing something up right now. Let's see. What will it be? Oh. Huh. Would you look at that? Sure, it's got a nice design, but that's just the tip of the trash burn. Yo! Don't get yourself stuck head first like last time. Pasha! I won't make the same mistake twice. Up! Oh. Huh? Hmm? What's he got? 
That's one stiff coat, and it's very bloody. Yeah. Holy shit! What is that? Whoa. Oh shit, it's drenched in blood. Uh, it's still wet and sticky. It's all full of holes. Hey, are you shitting me right now? I, uh, uh, shouldn't we report this to the police? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? I don't even have a phone. Hold on! <laughs> Dude, calm down. Oh boy, perfect timing. Stupid. You had to go and make more work. Yakuza who use their fucking heads don't just murk a guy and toss their fucking clothes in the dump. Sorry about that, Anarchy. I figured I could get away with chucking some random shirt. Uh -huh. You figured? What if that leads right back to you, idiot? I know, I'm a dumbass. A real piece of shit. Really. Whatever. You threw it out around here? Go and find it. Quick. Hey. Okay. Should be right over there in that pile of... The fuck? Dun 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 dun. Our boys are just staring at it like dum-dums. Ooh. Hey, you. What do you think you're doing? Huh? I was just... Um... Shit. <laughs> For fuck's sake. With all the shit in that heap, you just had to find that. Did I do something wrong? Put it to you this way. Your garbage digging ass just turned up incriminating evidence, so I can't let you walk out alive. Chalk it up to a stroke of bad luck, but hey, no hard feelings. My condolences and all that shit. <laughs> so, you killed whoever was wearing that shirt? And this is all that's left? <laughs> eh, I could tell you that. But what's good? Good's it gonna do to tell a dead man? I'm wasting my breath. Damn. Right now, I gotta fight this guy. Fighting time. Yakuza. Well. Ooh, you're only level 17. You're gonna die real quick. No, get the boy who's down. Oh, so yeah. close. Bye. Miss me. No, you're dead. And grand? Oh, look. We stuck Never them upside I down. Something so awful. I'd run afoul of the Yakuza. Mm. I told you. Uh, guess there's no shortcuts to money and success, are there? I always hated the idea of money ruling the world. So I chose to walk the path of the dumpster diver. <sighs> but maybe it's time I suck it up and get an actual job, huh? That might be a good idea. Now I would have been killed were it not for you. So here, I hope you get some use out of this. Intimidation manual. Anyway, I'm off to find some work. Maybe a, a shower and some better clothes while I'm at it. One's not covered in blood. Try and take care of the ladder stuff first. <laughs> you know, well, maybe I ought to work a garbage truck. Picking up one shiny bundle of joy after another. You stay healthy, Katsuka-san. <laughs> Sheesh. Guess one man's trash is another man's treasure. Dumpster of demise. We're just gonna leave them there? That's fine. Do, do, do. I want to check in on the lady and see what she wants if she wants like 15 billion bonsai. Also, with a fully upgraded shot, she's done this with her shop? I'm really not sure what's going on back there. Um, uh, I want to chat with you. Oh, we really show it, hit it off. I show her how volcanic my passion is. I am not level 10 passion. Alright, let me out. I think. Okay. I had one more. Oh, yeah. I wanted to see what this side quest is. You know, just get some side quests. Have some fun. Come back from our extended break with much nonsense. Ooh, I should change Nanba's job while we are right here. 
Do 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 do. Make Namba a bum again. He's actually very helpful with his bum. Can I help you? A shop. Namba. Homeless. No, I like your bum outfit. Boop. Do your best out there. Thank you. Ooh, and I can grab. Ooh. Mm, select from the menu. If I do that and that, I get up evasion. Confirm my order. Me. And we get a little bit drunk. Oh, Thank you very much. Right around the corner, I believe. Yes, it was right here. There's just a bunch of ladies chatting. No, not what they want. You know what? So annoying. Oh, that's a lady in a promiscuous outfit. So itchy. <laughs> this is not just a casual bunch of ladies. Noted. <laughs> hey, Yumiko-san. Isn't it time you moved on to something more appropriate for your age? I... I really don't know what you're suggesting, Shio-chan. Hmm. Why are they ganging up on that dominatrix lady? Casually, as if there's just many dominatrix ladies on the street Don't all the time. Don't you think past your prime? Look, <gasps> nobody wants you around. It's rude. So listen to the number one girl and leave. But I, I do still have clients who request me. So for their sake, I can't just... Yeah, yeah, we know you're totally lying. The rep of this place has been dropping lower than that sagging ass of yours. <laughs> Rude, she's got a tight butt. Advice? Find a cushy day job and let the next generation run the show. Got it, granny panties? Those are far from <laughs> granny panties. Kasuga, step in. <laughs> but really, don't you think it's time to put down the whip? You could break a hip in those heels. No, I take pride in what I do. I've always done my best to help my clients leave happy, even if there aren't many left. I wasn't asking for your opinion. I'm saying you're nothing but an eyesore. Understand? <laughs> What's with that look? You want me to slap it off your face? <gasps> All right, ladies, that's enough. Huh? I know it's none of my business, but you're taking this way too far. Oh, and frankly speaking, I think you're the ones bringing your club down, not her. Yeah. What? Ew, what is with him? He one of yours, Yumiko-san? Only a loser would eavesdrop. This loser's only here because he heard you stirring up trouble. Half the town could, really. I was just passing by. Then why don't you mind your own business? We don't have to listen to some random nobody. Forget it, girls. Let's just go. Hold on, Shiho. We're not finished with her. Yeah? Well, I am. Besides, I got an even better idea. Watch <sighs> your back out there, Grams. What are they gonna do? Yeesh. Are you alright there? I am. Thank you. Okay, bye. Yes, there's always haters, no matter where you go. Sometimes life's a harsh mistress. Hee hee hee. Hee hee hee. Mistress. I want to do more of that. I think I normally need to just, like, pop in and out of a place. A little, uh... Refresh the... Thing? Can I pop in and out of here? No. That place is closed. Because our boss died in it. Pop in here. Oh. I need a place to pop in too. <sighs> oh, 
Well, that was rather tame. I couldn't feel a scratch. And somehow, that scares me. The fault lies completely with us, sir. Please accept this session for free. I don't know what to say. I just wasn't enough for him. Don't worry. Not even the toughest mistress in town can make him feel anything again. No one can. Oh. That poor man. <laughs> what happened to him? Oh, that's so sad. Hey. That guy's some kind of celebrity or something? Well, you can say he is in our world. We've come to call him Mr. Masochist. Hmm? Mr. Masochist? That's right. He roams the streets looking for agony in a basement of the lowest caliber, but lately he's been in a funk, saying nothing makes him feel proper pain anymore. What happened to the poor guy? <laughs> and now he's got every kink club in town bending over backwards trying to satisfy his needs. They're just rolling with it, huh? <laughs> well, think about it. Wouldn't you want to be known as the only establishment who can break the unbreakable? That kind of bu buzz would be priceless. Oh. Ah, that's kind of smart, actually. Everyone in the business is going after him. Rinky kink, fetch a fetish, bloody gauntlet, the dom dome. <laughs> that man was stiff as a board, but not in the way he needed to be. Guess that's one way to put it. Wait, is that place called Watermelon? <laughs> it's his skin. Hmm? Say what? His skin was concrete hard, no matter how much elbow grease I gave it, or any kind of grease for that matter. He wouldn't even flinch. Looks like I still have a long way to go. Hm. Don't be so down on yourself. Why don't we do some training so that the next time he comes around you can make him feel alive again? Hi! Yeah, you're right. Well, time to work our customer service, so to speak. Talk to you later. I like how they just have... A casual conversation with a completely random on the side of the street. <laughs> yeah. Mm. We got a Mr. Masochist running around town? Why does that not surprise me? Oh. Oh my. Eh? You dare talk back to me, pig? Squee! <laughs> Forgive me, mistress. Art. I mean, uh, oink oink. Art. <laughs> dot 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 is the correct response. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, now I need more. Is that... Uh. Alright, so yeah, that's the one right up there. Duck around you guys, because I got a Mr. Masochist to go learn about. Ah, stop it. <laughs> no, we're gonna fight. <laughs> I'll show you Fighting fight. Barker? Well, he's dead now. Go get rid of this one. Does that mean our so-called old dominatrix is gonna be, like, the thing to fix him or something? The only thing I can assume is why we've seen those two together. <laughs> Bam. Alright, to the cab, to the cab, to the cab, cab, cab. Do the here and there. You wish you could run as easily in heels as she did, right? She she was able to just trot right off. So help me if they say she's 30, I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> I would be very upset if they were like, mm, grandma, and she's only 30. I mean, no matter what, she's got a rockin' bod, so screw them. Um, this way? No, it's over by these.
this corner. Hi guys! Fine. Nope. Run away! But there was no escape. Rude. We keep getting no escapes. Me flee! We got the hell out of there. Um, excuse me, sir? What you doing? Sir? That's not... That's not what you do to trees. <laughs> sir. <laughs> oh no. This poor man, please stop. This hurts me. <laughs> Hey, dude, too. have you lost it? Just leave me alone. Wait, don't I know you? The guy from the red light district. Uh... Mr. Masochist. You're Mr. Masochist, right? So you've heard of me before. Mostly just rumors from a fetish club. Hey, intelligence. Anyway, I'm Kasuga. Kasuga-san, is it? I'm Soda Makinohara. Most people simply call me Mr. Masochist. Uh-huh. So, why were you headbutting a tree just now? Because I want to feel. I want to hurt. Oh, right. I heard something like that from the club owner. About how you can't feel pain anymore? That would be correct. As a true glutton for punishment, I've spent many a night getting beaten half to death. By beautiful women in leather, might I add. But that's <laughs> beside the point. As the months turned into years, my senses began to dull. Eventually, I felt nothing. Happiness is fleeting, as they say. Dang. I know I started the conversation and all, but I can't relate to that. Like, at all. Here's who I really am. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, sir, you're in your underwear. Sir. You're also ripped as hell. <laughs> a man with a body unyielding, lusting for pain, yet never receiving. At least I built up muscle. They'd leave me twisted like a pretzel overnight sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Alas, I suppose this is no laughing matter. You're telling me. Which brings us to the tree. I thought it would hurt if I smashed it with my head. And did it? No. I felt stronger pain from a mosquito's embrace. Wow. It sounds like you've been through a lot, man. I don't know what to say. Much as I'd like to help, I should probably get going. <laughs> I don't know how to help. <laughs> Bye! Wait! Why don't you just hear me out? I noticed that you have a pretty solid physique, though it pales in comparison to mine. Uh, okay. Uh, preference for whip ladies aside, I wish to test my endurance out on you. Beggars can't be choosers, as they say. So let me ask you, Kasugasan. Will you strike me with everything you have? Oh. You want me to hit you? <laughs> yes. If it hurts, there's still hope. Use whatever tools you have at your disposal. G gang up on me if you have to. I have a space laser. Man, he's actually serious. Is it really okay to start wailing on him, though? Sure, I'll punch you. And trust me, we ain't no mosquitoes. All right. Then come at me! He's so happy! <laughs> Tiff, thank you for the five gift subs Watch and this. for the resub for eight months. Thank you. I can't believe it's been eight. Oh, he's very. What? Sir. Look at this pose he adopts! Oh, we are stuck on ge geometry. Hey guys, you want to figure this out? There you go. <laughs> Nothing I do hurts him! We've made a mistake. We've broken the game a little bit. There we go. <laughs> I know a magical button that will sometimes just reset everybody mid-fight. He danced with Glee! 
He's very poetic, right? I wouldn't think Mr. Maskist would be quite so poetic, but he is. This is a fight I can't win. Sure. I don't know how to win this. Skills. Face laser. This might be a waste of MP, but I don't care. Face laser him, baby. Um, he wants to test his endurance with him and get hit with his best? No kink shame here, right? We not here to kink shame. He just wants to feel pain. <laughs> so I've given him a laser. Oh, it did nothing. Okay. I don't... I don't know how to fix this. Do I just run? I guess we'll do one more one more round, and if the game doesn't end it for us, I have to assume I'm supposed to run or something. Because this is doing absolutely nothing to him. I'm more impressed it's like, yeah, I get he doesn't feel pain, but he also is showing absolutely no pain. Okay, whew. That's enough. Yeah. Ooh, I got Suji decks. Nice. <laughs> Any luck? I'm afraid not. Despite being beaten to a pulp, I couldn't feel a thing. For real? Damn. Mm. To think I'll never feel true pain again. That by itself almost hurts. Come on, uh, Mr. Masochist, was it? I no longer deserve that name. Please, just leave me be. Oh, this poor baby. You should probably put your clothes back on though, dude. Maybe? Sitting there in socks in your underwear? Probably not the best. Well, nothing more I can do for him. Hope he finds the pain he's looking for. I did give him the biggest pew pew. Shades of play. He's hopelessly numb. And it's right down the street. Perfect. But still further down. Alright, fair, yeah, the space letter about to get nutty while we're fighting a mass kiss is great. <laughs> um go in here. What's going right now. There's something on the floor. Go to a clan crab. Maybe. Oh yes. Hey, you're the guy who stepped in for me. Oh! I didn't realize that was you. I did? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're Yumiko-chan, was it? I'm not used to you being so fully dressed. That's right, I hardly got to say thank you last time. No biggie, as long as you're okay. Those girls still giving you trouble? A little, but I can handle it. And truthfully, I am their senior, so I need to set the example. Making a big fuss about it won't do. Having said that, I still adore my job. Letting my other self loose and giving people pleasure? There's truly nothing like it. <laughs> While I am just sad to see my clown tail dwindle over time, I'm committed to working hard until my very last lesson. Gotta go out with a bang, right? Ha, <laughs> uh, I getcha. Here we go, Chan. Your shift's almost up, so you can... Oh. oh, I didn't know you had a customer. My apologies. It's, uh, it's not like that. We were just chatting, is all. Ah, so you're her friend? Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> Yumiko-chan here is one beyond wonderful. She's earnest, she's diligent, she's practically our poster girl. I'd pay her ten grand an hour if I could, but at that rate I'd go out of business. Yeah. Oh, please, I'm very happy with what you give me. Yumiko has a day job, too. Bet nobody'd guess when the sun goes down, she morphs into a man spaking queen of the night. Mm. Wish that philandering son of mine would take a page out of Yumiko's book. Oh, I didn't know you had a son, ma'am. I do. That rascal spends his entire salary and even his bonuses on what he calls 
nightlife entertainment. He's been avoiding me, too. Probably thinks I'm going to lecture him for days on end, which I should. <sighs> hmm. This shirt lady sure does remind me of someone. Oh my god, is it her son? Where have I heard Kasuga that? son, is it? I'm Soda Maki Nohara. But most people simply call me Mr. Is literally Masks. her son. <laughs> hmm? Hey. Your son isn't named Soda by chance, is he? Oh, do you know him? Then I appreciate it if you told me how to get a hold of him. I mean to give him a piece of my mind. Haha. <laughs> you know, I better be going. Have a great night. You too, honey. Take care now. Wow, so that's Mr. Mask, his mom? I wonder what'll happen if she caught him in the, his element. I don't think we want to know. <laughs> oh, wait. Still need to converse more? Aha. Speak to the mother. That man did say he wanted to feel pain. What could be more painful than being yelled at by your mom? Oh no, we're gonna <sighs> sick his mom on him. Well, should I bring his mom over? Bring her along. <laughs> hey, ma'am. Oh, hello there. Is something the matter? Actually, Mr. Maso, I mean soda -kun, he's in Fukutoku Park right now. Really? You sure? Okay. Yep. Perfect. Today's the day I give that bonehead a proper talking to. Don't worry, he's in just his underwear and his socks. Have fun. I uh, guess I'll go with you. Oh no! <laughs> oh, he got dressed. Never mind. <laughs> That's good. Soda. Ooh. Mom? How'd you find me? I had to get your friend here to tell me. Uh, hello. Explain to me what you're doing in a place like this. Don't tell me you quit your job already. No, mother. I have not quit my job. Why must you always butt into my life? Because your career's going nowhere. You have nothing in the bank, and you're still single. I'd be a terrible mo mother if I didn't butt into your life. Eh? Just look at you. This is the first I've seen you in ages, and here you are, loafing around in a park at the dead of night. Have you no shame? Ugh. I didn't raise you to be this way. Da, da, da. Die. Oh. oh, and you remember Taku-chan, don't you? That nice little boy you used to play with in kindergarten? Look at me when I'm talking to you! Anyway, Takachan decided to grow up and get married, unlike someone I know. And who do you think he married? Tell me. Go on. Guess. It's Miho-chan, your childhood friend, the girl who always walked you home, and yet you never even asked her on a date. Yes, that Miho-chan. Oh, this poor man, I feel so bad. Can you believe they're expecting a baby next year? Isn't that wonderful? You must be feeling pain at this point. <laughs> Takachan's mother looks so happy, and who wouldn't? It's her first grandchild. I, for one, have longed to see my grandchild's chubby little face to tickle his tiny toes. But that day won't be coming anytime soon, what with how you turned out. Oh no! <laughs> wow, Mom pulled no punches, right? You hear me? I haven't even begun to say my piece. But my patience is running thin, so quit squandering your money, your time, your, your life. At least have the decency to listen to the woman who carried you in her womb for nine months, then spent an excruciating twelve hours getting you out. Okay, I'll see you later then. Even Ichi was just, like, defeated. <laughs> Goodbye, Mom. Oh, and don't forget to eat your vegetables. Be sure to rinse them carefully, even if they came in the package. Understand? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Kasuga-san. I did say I was looking for pain. I admit that. But getting my mom to read her list of grievances? That's just cruel, man. <laughs> you see, what I wanted was physical pain. The kind that scars your body, not your heart. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. To be honest, I think I even felt a little blasted from that. Well, there's no sense in both of us feeling empty and stupid, though I guess I should be happy you were thinking of me. Now, I appreciate all you've done for me, but you might as well give up on this point. I wish I could just, I don't know, curl up and be a clam at the bottom of the sea? 
Well, with its tough exterior, I guess I'm halfway there. Uh huh. Thought his mom could straighten him out, but instead he just got more twisted. But you know, I've done enough damage here. Maybe I'll let him be for now. Massive mom guilting there. Gold medal worthy. Right? Daddy issues. Wait. Give me the daddy, daddy issues. Aw, I get all warm and fuzzy whenever I see a swing. Oh, I really liked the Oh, there's a, a perv girl. right there. My dad used to take my sister and me to the park all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, if I ever start a family, I'd want us all to play together on weekends, too. I'm having a hard time seeing Adachi as a dad. Oh, come on. I'd be a good dad, right? In fact, I'd be a regular old sugar daddy. Nope. That doesn't nope. mean what you think it means. Don't ever say that again. Ever. Huh? Oh, well. Ah, stupid battle. I was trying to listen to sweetness. Watch me. And we're gonna run. Give me back the daddy issues prompt. Oh, I can my dad. Get back. Come on, I'd be back. I'd be a. That yeah. doesn't mean what you think it means. Don't ever say that again. Ever. Huh? Oh, well, you get the idea. Started so sweet and ended in salt. <laughs> Alright. Where did they go now? Listen. Let the man be. Oh no. What if I go into a store and leave the store? Oh. What's going on? Who are you people? Oh. oh. So this babe's Yumiko-chan, huh? Hmm. Huh. She does look a bit on the older side, but... She does not! Nothing a little lighting can't fix. Stop it! <laughs> if anything, I like my ladies mature. Can't get enough of those milfs, huh? <laughs> what is this? Remember how we talked about the ladies? Sales? I thought I'd find you a little side job. Help make ends meet. Aren't I the sweetest? Can I punch Chiho? Shio chan, why? Don't sweat the details. Now this might get a little bit freaky, but isn't that your specialty? <laughs> Don't do this! Let me go! I know that voice. Yumiko chan! Go, go. Damn. Where is she? Sweet boy. Put the fuck down. Dude, roll the camera. We can edit this shit out later. What? Quit squirming. You don't want me cutting more than your clothes, do you? What the poop? Stop! Crap, he's gonna do it. <sighs> oh. What in the fuck? Well, now he's naked. Oh, I figures. I could be hit by a truck buck naked and still wouldn't feel a thing. Who's this dirty old creep? I saved, Mr. Masochist! Kasugasa? Oh, great. Another one. Look, we're filming something important here, so why don't you go piss off? What are you filming, oh, weirdo? My, my agent never told me about this. <laughs> Who wants to see your scroungy looking ass? What? Me. Plan on sticking around? Then we'll stick you to the side of the pavement. Damn straight. Well. Oh yeah, level 20 street punks. You're gonna die. Bring it on. Goodbye. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry that nonsense is going on, but I'm glad to have you here. I hope you can forget for a few. Uh, holy shit! That top. Uh, get up! What's wrong with you guys? Hey. <gasps> Take these scumbags and get lost. What you did to Yumiko was way beyond sick, and don't let there be a next time. Yes, sir. Sorry for the trouble. <laughs> you hurt? No, I'm fine. Thanks again for being there. Oh, and you too. 
You have no idea how grateful I am. Don't be. I'm not that important anyway. I'm pretty much a dead man walking. Numb to pleasure, numb to pain. Oh. As they're gonna make For the best couple. Like me, there's only one way out. Come on, you don't mean that. Yeah. Normally I charge an arm and a leg for a slap like that, but you needed some sense knocked into you. You saved me from the worst nightmare I've ever experienced. I was scared out of my mind. Yet the first thing out of your mouth is how unimportant and worthless you are. That's not only disrespectful to me, but you disrespect yourself when you say things like that. Aww. Miko chan. That. Oh, that, that stings. <sighs> yes. Anyway, I ship it. I wanted to return the favor for helping me out not only once, but twice. I know it's not much, but I hope you like it anyway. Ecstasy rope. Thanks. <laughs> As for you, let me say thank you again. Sorry I had to hit you. But what can I give you? More? If I may. Would asking for another smack be too much? Huh? When you hit me just now, I was stunned. I haven't felt that kind of pain in ages. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I go too far? The opposite! I don't mean to freak you out, but I love being stepped on, spit on, crushed, maimed, you name it. But lately I haven't been able to feel things, whether you tie me up or beat me down. That all changed with you. Never have I felt such burning admonition in my life. What you did was tenderize my heart. So please, I'm begging you. Tenderize my flesh once more. With this! Oh my. Where the hell he pulled that out from? You know I won't hold back. Oh. Wouldn't want you to, ma'am. Now execute me. Like you mean it, baby! She's dropped into Dom mode. Oh my. Oh, oh gee! Oh, it hurts so good! <laughs> <laughs> You're a naughty little boy. I'm at a loss for words. I've never been lacerated so lovingly before. Perhaps this is being too forward. But could you flog me senseless like this from now until the end of time? Is that a marriage proposal? I promise I'll make you satisfied. We could live strappily ever after together. Yeah, too far, dude. Oh, <laughs> that's quite a tempting offer. They are literally just in the middle of the street. A man who loves pain and a woman who lives to give it. You can't put a label on romance, I guess. This is a whole new level of PDA, right? <laughs> I wonder what they named their kid. I don't. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I come back from a call with my parents and you're dealing with another naked person? I mean- Oh! <gasps> Guys, we got a pound mate! <laughs> I love it. That's great. Alright, I'm- I'm content now. We can go back to doing actual plot. <laughs> that was worth it. Alright, nearest taxi is right there. <laughs> Right, so that just happened. How'd everyone do? <laughs> it certainly brings a whole new meaning to the word pound, mate. <laughs> so we've had a naked man via Bubbles, who was unintentionally naked. And we've had a naked man via his own choosing, who was entirely ten intentionally naked. So our uh, playthrough's been interesting tonight, that's for sure. A fight, y'all! What have I going here? Huh? 
Did that get rid of you guys? I wanna go do plot. Thank you. Pinky rabbit. Alright, we gotta give three million to the guy who's gonna... Three million yen to put up a candidate once I deliver this to Chairman Hoshino. I'm off to Osaka. Give him the money. Because we need to get a candidate for running for mayor? Some part of the office. Goodbye, three million yen. So you found the money? Yes. Me and my friends managed it somehow. It'll, I owe it all to them. We owe it to the business management minigame, <laughs> if I'm honest. That's where it all came from. Eh, maybe I should have asked for more and kept the change. Not even funny, sir. We worked our asses off to hold up our end of the bargain. How are things on your side? Well, in that regard, unfortunately, there's no way to let you down easy. I haven't found anyone. No one who can handle Injincho? <sighs> right. With Aoki's popularity behind him, finding someone who stands a chance against Kume is no small task. <sighs> Understandable, I guess. But I still intend to work on it. I promised. And you've held up your end of the bargain. Yeah, I have to skip town for a little while to take care of some stuff. I hope you've got good news when I get back. Mm -hmm. Really? Where are you going? Saka. Odenboro, Bori, specifically. That's rather sudden, isn't it? Yes. Well, that's where our Kawasan needs me, and he's counting on me to be there. And who did you hear that from? Fellow Yak is a guy from before I went to prison. He called me. I've heard rumblings about Aroka heading to Osaka on my end as well. The captain of the Omi Alliance is getting put out of prison, so he's going to be there when he gets out. The captain, huh? So he's higher than Arakawa-san. <coughs> Since he's just the acting captain. Here's Very my well. cough. Correct. Masaru Watase. Yeah, I said that right. It will probably be the first time Watase and Arakawa meet. Watase. Arakawa is just an outsider from Kanto who shot up the ranks in his absence. If he makes even the smallest mistake in that meeting, it could be his undoing. Even Arakawa might be nervous about that. Think that's what he needs help with? I don't know about that. You could ask him yourself. But a word of caution. Yeah? I just hope you don't get another bullet to the chest the moment you make eye contact with the man. Me too. Well, I just gotta trust him. To be honest, I never really stopped. <laughs> I'm going because he asked me to. I'm sure it'll be different this time. Just don't get the duck. No peeking duck. Eh, I wish I had more subordinates like you. <laughs> it's imaginary money. No, it was real money, I promise. <laughs> Does my father really need to attend to this Sotomori thing personally? Yes. Remember, as acting captain, Arakawa is merely keeping the seat warm for Watase. Being there in person will be a show of respect and good faith. Fine. But why am I just now hearing about this? I said I wanted to know if he so much as breathed somewhere outside his usual places. My apologies, young master. I only just found out myself. Really now? Well, all we can do now is wait and see. Hmm? Wait and see what, exactly? Masaru Watase and Masumi Arakawa are finally meeting in person after how long? If I know my dad, they're not just gonna say hi and be on their merry ways. I highly doubt they're plotting anything. Isn't the Omi chairman still bedridden? I've heard it's terminal. Yes. That's correct. Then it's past time for a potential successor to be formally named. Actually, it may not be that urgent yet. But then again, the chairman might say Watase's release from prison is a good time to step down. 
and then Watasi would become chairman, naturally. I'm sure his reign would be a very long one, but Omi history will take a very different course if, say, Watasi disappeared. What? <laughs> I'm thinking dear old dad might try to make it happen. I don't know if that's arakawa son style, exactly. You don't think so? Remember when I asked Dad to sell out the Tojo clan during the 3K plan? Well, I never told him to bring in the Omi Alliance. He did that all on his own. I think it was a good decision, actually. Don't you? Uh, well, sure. Thanks to him, the Tojo were driven out of Kamurocho. The 3K plan was a wild success, and my approval rating skyrocketed. I expected the Tojo clan to fall hard, but I didn't think some third-rate Tojo vermin like Dad could ever worm his way into their top ranks. <laughs> Shrewd of him to do that during all the commotion. I thought he was a slow, antiquated Yakuza, and certainly not the type of man who could catch me off guard. Huh. I guess power really does corrupt, huh? Don't get me wrong, if Dad buries Watase and takes over the Omi Alliance, I benefit too. Having him there would be very convenient for me. There's just one thing that feels off. What's that? He hasn't told me about any plan to off Watase at their meeting. That's evidence against my theory. I'll have to see what happens. If all they do is greet each other, I was wrong. Look. <laughs> I can't decide on whose side hand, he's on. If he wastes Watase and still doesn't see fit to tell me, that would be a betrayal I cannot tolerate. Arakawa-san won't betray you. He better not. His little Yakuza club only has power because I extend it to them. <sighs> I've come a long way since the Kamurocho 3K plan. I'm at the top of the political pyramid now, which means I need to know what's happening in the underworld. The hierarchy should be very clear at this point and I expect people to fall in line. That's a matter of policy, and family is no exception. Sawashiro, between me and my father, to whom would you swear complete fealty? Arakawa-san sent me to do as you command. His orders were to put you and your interests above everything else. My interests is for you to watch his every move and report them to me. Understood. I'll send Tendo to Osaka. He seems to have rapport with Arakawa-san. I honestly no idea where he lands on like he's uh, gonna kill Patriarch us Tindo, does he know when'd you get in just this afternoon tomorrow the captain's getting out of prison oh really hm. not something civilians like you need to worry about the wise thing to do would be to mind your own business is that a threat sir don't joke like that, man. You fists ought to require a weapons permit. Say what now? Nothing. I got work to do, just like you said. See ya. Santa. Have a right on. Look at our big old party. Hey, can I get a refill over here? Oh, make it two. Hey, Ichiban. You look like a teenage girl waiting for a text from her boyfriend. <laughs> Put it down and relax. Have a drink with us. Yeah, we're in Osaka after all. Stop giving me shit. See, this is why I want to come alone. <laughs> Where are Grumpy. you going, Kasuga-san? I bet it's not to take a leak. He hardly drank a sip. 
He just wants to wait for Arakawa to contact him. Through any of this. Wait for Re Mitsu to call. So I guess I can chat? Sure, you know this by now, but everyone worries for you. Nobody want to put it past Masumi Arakawa to shoot Yo. you again. Hey, don't put words into our mouths, you silver devil. Sure. Yeah, why would we be worried about Ichiban? I just wanted to see the sights of Osaka. He said he doesn't need our help anyway. This place is fancy? I'm assuming if I follow the pink arrow, it's gonna magically lead to a phone call. Ichiban, where are you going? It's way too dangerous to just walk around. Screw, I guess I did get waiting for this call from Mitsu. Could be any second now. Didn't he say he was busy planning Watase's welcome back from prison party? Something like that. Some big party at Omi HQ. What a load of crap, huh? Can't he see that Arakawa-san's plans are way more important? Well, but wasn't he expecting you to be here tomorrow, not today? Dude, you're the one who jumped the gun and got here early. Kind of douchey for you to complain now. Right, fair. Who are you, Mama Kasuga? <laughs> Someone's gotta be. But hey, listen. I overheard something that'll interest you. There was a group of people in here chatting about Arakawa being in town. It's big news, apparently. Really? Yeah. Sounds like folks are worried that a war might break out between Arakawa and Watase. It's just a rumor, but... Wisdom of the crowd and all. Shh. I got a text. Yeah? I can't Mitsu? read if you're talking. <laughs> oh man, what the hell? What's wrong? It's from Nick Ogata. He texted me, I finally got a pick with Kamala. <laughs> Great. Oh, so Nick. glad you told me about that, Nick. Ichiban, did you see my photo? <laughs> Nobody ever manages to get a pick like that. That bunny, he's so crafty, you never know where his fuzzy little ears will pop up. I'm beside myself, I can't believe I found him! Alright, alright, I get it! Huh? Uh, what's got your coat? <sighs> I'm sorry, but I'm really tied up right now. It'd be a big help if you didn't call me for a couple days, okay? Well, look who's a busy bee. You visiting a lot of pretty flowers these days? No, it's nothing about girls! <laughs> I'll call you when things settle down. I'm happy you found Kamala. <laughs> that was just teasing. Why are you so mad? Be more like Kamala. He's never hopping mad. I gotta go, man. Yeah. Hopping mad. <laughs> mm. uh, sorry. Hey, Kasuga. If you're gonna be a pain in everyone's ass, just go to Omi HQ already. <laughs> huh? Do your usual. Come on. Since when do you sit around and wait for anyone, anyhow? Absolutely Besides, never. If a war really does break out like these people think, your precious Arakawa san could be in actual danger. <laughs> hey, Adachi san. You're absolutely right. Screw waiting. Time to go. Yep. That's it. Oh, like devils on each other's shoulders. Listen. We're heading to Omi HQ. Oh. die or did it just okay nope just my end we're good back to plot panic for a moment here we go Boop. all right we're heading to omi alliance hq tomorrow who knows Ooh, bye bye <laughs> be a big shopping center down by the river Yep. Good. We should be able to pick up what we need there. To the shopping center. Also, Raven, thank you for giving out two gift subs during the plotty stuff. I appreciate it. 
I want to just verify. Somebody say that we are good to go. Just so that I can be sure I'm not talking to myself. Always good. <laughs> Ooh, I can recruit people here. Fun, it is showing up for people, but really good at it. Recruit? Good to go. Okay, awesome. Why don't you come work for my company? Come work for me. Ooh, you're an SR. Talent scout. Okay, we are in a completely new area. That's not the map button. This is the map button. I have no idea who, where, what, and when. I don't see any side story things, so it looks like we're just doing plot here. Nope, didn't mean to do that. We're going down here. Yep, no da <laughs> not in danger of a straitjacket just yet. Perfect, perfect. I like that. This is not the way I'm supposed to be going. Ooh, Ooh Namba's habits. Okay, I've scouted out the closest bathroom. What was that, Namba? When visiting a new city, the most important thing you can do is identify where you can take your next dump. Hey, that's <laughs> actually kind of smart. You find that in some travel tips? Or... Ah, that's pure hobo instinct at work. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, it works for me. So itchy. But well, he was only a hobo for like six months. How you working up that hobo instinct? Down this way? Look at this river. It's actually clean. Unlike our river back home. This man has a suit that matches our suit. Want to be recruit? It's slightly more pink. I've been called the mail order Oni, but I feel my power hasn't reached full potential. I want to try things outside of the mail order and develop my skills even further. Recruit. Apply for my company. Work under you? Ho oh, ho, now there's a surprise. I sense an overwhelming level of intelligence, so we're good. Yes. Ooh, he's an SSR. Nice. What the hey, how is this? <sighs> yeah, was this the shopping center you mentioned? Yeah, but looks like it's under construction. Uh... Are they not open? Dang. Ah! Ah! Hi, robot. Yuppie! Yuppie! <laughs> Shall I show you in? Huh? Oh, the robot talk. Oh, it's a yappy coon. Hmm? Yappy coon. A guide robot. A lot of mobile phone stores and supermarkets have been getting them to greet customers and stuff. You never seen one? Wow. Huh. That's a uh, high tech. That means this guy's greeting us, right? Yeah. Guess so. Maybe they actually are open. What would you like? Shall I show you in? Go for it, little guy. Yippee. Right this way. That looks like a murder robot. I really hope it's not a murder robot. Um. What? This doesn't look like shopping. What even is this? This doesn't look open at all. Yo. What's the big idea, Yuppie? Where's the shopping area? Shopping? I'm sorry, I don't understand shopping. Welcome to the Stotenboro Battle Arena! Oh no, it is a murder robot. Hmm. Battle Arena? This is a place where warriors with confidence in their skills can come clash. Where the strong challenge the stronger that we have selected. All fights are broadcast live to our members. Any challenger who succeeds in defeating their foes will receive a reward. Ah. Kamarocho has an undergrad. Coliseum just like that. Suppose well, they must be national. Concrete you to the floors and soda about our battle arena will earn me a one time victory reward, which I can receive by opening the suitcases on that floor. Fulfilling special conditions for each battle can also get me additional rewards, and these can be won as many times as you please. You might even score some rare items, so step up to the challenge. Okay. Go fight! Mm. Fight ho! Yeah, go fight! Sure. 
Listen, you little robot, we don't have any intentions of fighting for the enjoyment of your people. No. Actually, it might not be a bad idea. Huh? We might be fighting the Omi Alliance soon. This could be the perfect opportunity to polish up. Besides, underground members only establishments like this tend to have a lot of backing. I'm sure the rewards will be more than worth it. We could upgrade our weapons, equipment, and train while we're at it. <laughs> the benefits outweigh the risks, in my humble opinion. <sighs> well, I guess when you put it that way. We will not force you to participate. If you wish to fight, talk to me at any time. We do not turn away any challengers. We do not hunt down those who leave. Our arena is always open. Got it. All right, got it. Yippee. We look forward to seeing you fight. All right. I can train here. We'll do one round because why not? Okay, once we're ready, let's take a taxi to Omi HQ. Well, what if I want to fight first? Fight. Yippee! Will you participate? Shall we take you there? Murder Robot has a terrifying voice. <laughs> oh, wait, I thought I said yes, battle. Enter. That's a lot of stars. All right, let's see how this goes. Yippee! This is the first floor. If you're not feeling confident, you can return to the entrance by taking the cable car. This is what battle information looks like. All right, so the 30 to 36, I can get a dice cane, win within 10 turns, and I get a golden moth. Let's fight. Dun, dun, dun. Shall we? Watch me. Right, so goal is to win within ten turns, so let's play this smart. Get this boy while he's down. He's gone. Hmm. Gosh dang, that guy can take a beating. Ooh, ooh shoot. Don't find a laser in his eyes. That's rude. Also, I wonder if a turn is per player or full party turn. Mm. Let's do some gun. You want to fight? Come on. You guys are not grouped up, so we'll do a rapid shot straight to this. A gift for you. I'm over here. He's wrong. <laughs> We're fighting pirates and club kids. Yeah, we is. Alright, that one's down. I wish there was a turn counter so I knew what turns counted as. The man has so many buttons. Watch me. Skills. Gun on big boy. Prepare yourself. Now it's gonna work on him, because he's weak to him. Okay. You're down, so we'll smack you. Well, more gun. Take this. You want to fight? A gift for you. You're in it, Okay. He's done. Rust boy. Watch me. Prepare to suffer. I'll make it work. Eyes on me. 
Bam. That didn't feel like work. Now let's see if I get the moth or not. Moving up in the world. Level and break up. Nice. Here's my winnings. Nice game. Did I not get their winning? I'm gonna go with no. <coughs> Move on, I guess. None. When without any having any allies were knocked out, we can totally do that. Not a loser. What? what is invulnerable billboard? Open charger. Get him while he's down. Ooh. Now you'll take your turn. Come down. Oh, that went way longer than I thought. Thank you, Kassiga. That was a very dramatic bleeding, sir. Alright, he down. Hide behind a sign. Rude. You're like a turtle. Oh, he's still blocking. That's rude. Hiding behind your sign. Oofa. I know you're bleeding, just don't Bring die. So that's really good for leveling. We okay. So that's it. Was every turn counts as one turn? Boop. All right. 
I'm happy to leave. What's with the German helmet? I have <laughs> Starting from the floor one checkpoint, that's okay. I'm not fully prepared to attempt my way through that entire place. <laughs> now, we ride a taxi, but first, go to food. Because, boy, do we need to heal real quick. Let me heal. Order from the menu. We're gonna order one of everything. Who's hungry? Me. Ooh, slightly boosted attack. Yes, please. Alright, taxi time. No, I don't want to fight you. Brat. Go in here and talk real quick. I just healed so that I can go into my fight. Therefore, I don't want to deal with an angie person. So they owe me alliance! I should double check your brand. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Beep. Everyone have your bestie gear? The answer is yes. Alright, let's go. Ooh, it's cheaper to taxi here. Take me to Omi HQ. Mitsu, you took forever, man. How long were you gonna leave me hanging? Sorry, Aniki. I had to find somewhere out of earshot. Not so easy around here. Where are you now? Omi Alliance headquarters. The officers that got here early had me slaving away in the kitchen. They wanted to pregame, huh? I've been seeing tons of catering people going in. Oh, you have? Aniki, are you? Yes. Yeah, I'm just outside. Wanted to save you the trouble of calling me, but I guess it's too late for that. Me Alliance HQ. Why on earth would you do that? Because he uh, dumb. Kawasan's in there right now, isn't he? What? Yeah, he's here. But don't come in. I need to arrange a secure meeting spot for you two. I need more time. No way. You have no freaking clue how long I've been waiting for this. Hey, come on, dude. I told you to stay in Yokohama until I contacted you. Yeah, I think you might have said that. Might? I said it clear as day! Well, surprise, I'm here a little early. You would be too if you were me. God damn it, man. Fine. But for now, get the hell out of here. You do know that if someone at HQ recognizes you, you're fucked, right? Proper fucked! Oh, chill out. It's not like the place is crawling with Omi or anything. It's just these catering guys rolling their stuff around. If only they're HQ. Hey, if I disguise myself as one of them, I could slip right in. No, 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 Kasuga, stop right there. Don't even think about it. Too late. He's Mitsu, thinking about it. I need it. to see Arakawa-san. I need to. This has been on my mind ever since he shot me in Kamurocho. Don't you get that? No, you don't get it. You can't. And I don't give a shit. I'm going in. Wait, Aniki. Where is he in the headquarters? Look, you need to. Not gonna tell me? I see how it is. Guess I'll have to ask around inside. Gonna get mobbed, dude. I'll take down anyone who stands between me and Arakawa-san. He's trying to set up stuff for you. Be patient. <sighs> hey, if you just tell me where he is, I'll do my best to avoid any fights. I promise. <sighs> okay. Arakawa-san. He's in a room called the Dragon Chamber. How fitting. Deep inside HQ. Dragon Chamber. Got it. Is he alone? No. He has some guests. Three people. All right. Thanks, Mitsu. Aniki, are you really going to do this? Yes. Okay. I know where Arakawa-san is now. 
Finally beat it out of him, huh? Well, let's go then. No, I should do this alone. Please, no. I'll be okay. I need and a look, party. Guys, I'm grateful to all of you for coming this far with me. But there'll be no hard feelings if you want to bail. Really? You're pulling this martyr shit now? Yeah, what's with pushing us away? You know, we didn't come to Osaka for the pleasure cruise. Hey, hey look what I found! Good <laughs> show. <laughs> I love that these two became this part of the party. This box is just sitting over there. And by the way, I feel the same as the rest of them. Osaka's Aww. been fun, but playing tourist is getting old. That's quite a find. It should make getting in much smoother. Guys, I... Ah, uh, yes, you. one box between the six of us. It'll be fine. Oh, we found a second one. Keep moving! Keep moving! Straight back to the parking garage! That there's the waiting room. You lost us up the pal? Yeah? Hey, someone deal with this guy. It's all good. Hey, catering boys, over here! Careful where you step now. <laughs> Everyone's famished as hell. Any moment, they're gonna start hollering for food. Yo, someone go see if any more trucks can fit! Is the beer here yet? These guys will need booze! Hey, Arakawa-san's in a back room called the Dragon Chamber. Just act natural. These are not the outfits of casual people. Throwing that out there. Hey, go to the grat dragon chamber casually. Look at Shiny. Missed you. No. Alright, now I gotta check this room for shinies real quick. Excuse me, Joe. Check. <sighs> Acting natural, looking for things to pick up off the floor. That. Mysterious stone. Bing. Look at that thing. Let me touch it. I love hey, that yeah. your disguise is the exact same thing except carrying a box. I wonder if that one's on watch. Yeah. Most likely. I'm sure they don't want people like us slipping in. It'll be bad news if our cover gets blown. What's the plan? Came this far, didn't we? We keep going. Figured. But le let's try to at okay. least not get caught. Yeah, I know. Follow my lead. Watch as I immediately get us caught on accident. Ooh. Uh oh. At least try not to get caught. Alright, so that man's gonna come back, so I'm gonna hang out right here. Uh oh. That man totally see us, but he's ignoring us, so we're fine. Nope, 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 nope. Where do they want me going? Oh, so I need to go down here, and there is it. Okay. Okay, we know he doesn't come further. Do 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 do. I'm not here. What are you talking about? Look at these things. Who I? <gasps> Safe. Should I open it? Sweet. Hidden man. All right, we're gonna let him go around the corner. You guys are gonna let me through, and we're just Ooh. We're gonna go rush over here. So 
if I go all the way up, we there. But we're gonna see if that dude comes to this kind of We're not in his line of sight, so we're okay. Alright, so there's stuff I could get in there. Nope, I'm not here. Premium sushi shit. Perfect. Oh, did it. Alright, go into the next pit. Let's go. Ooh! Hey, I'm not here. Whew. Excuse me. I can't just do that to a girl. look at so he's probably gonna come right across here so i should probably back up and then once he goes i should just bum rush it that way excuse me coming through pardon me i want to check over here though Dead end. <gasps> Perfect. Should I open it? Thank you for Got rewarding it. me, game. Oh, approved best. Like I should. Boop. Apparently, none of the things I've gotten except for that one better for anybody. Okay, get in there. These doors are fancy. Hmm? Hell of a door. I think this is the dragon chamber? Not like anyone anywhere else looked the part. Guess we'll find out. Let's go! There's a shiny ring. Alfie. Okay. Here we go. Hello! I mean, there's not really dragons everywhere. Excuse me while I just knock over the bases. Fine. We good. See that briefcase. Guardian water. <laughs> I mean, a pizza delivery uniform is like the most obvious effective disguise, especially if you're gonna walk around looking to. <laughs> My silver leaf, have a good drive home. We'll see you when you get home. Enjoy your lurk mode. Tungsten. Hello? Ooh, look at all these safes. That can't be good. They're rewarding me. Ah, please. I beg. Should I open it? Yes, you Sweet. should open it. Iron Gata. Should I open it? Got it. Profane wristband. First aid kit. Oh, that's not good if they gave me a first aid kit. That revives people. Everyone gets new boots. Alright. Here we go. They're definitely pre prepping us for battle. No doubt in my mind. Hey, who are you fellas? Oh, uh, just on our way to the dragon chamber. What a name, huh? Yeah, it's just up those stairs. But, uh, did the acting captain ask for you? Uh, you mean Arakawa-san? Yeah, he totally did. If he'd called for you, he would have sent someone for you. Seems you're lacking an escort, buddy. Don't know what to tell you. He said something about how busy everyone is today, so we should just go right in. <laughs> no way. We can't just let people make that kind of claim and walk on by. Give me the name of the guy who said you could go in. I want to know their family, too. Sure. Um, what was it again? You're shady as hell, Scruffy. How about your name? What's that, huh? 
No name that you'd recognize, but I'm from the Arakawa family. Ain't what I asked. What's your damn name? L look, man. Stop stalling and say it! Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. Well. Uh -oh. Dude, why not make up a name? <laughs> Oops. Well, no point now. This dum dum. At least it's a cool ass name. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> so, we good? It also happens to be the name of the fucker the captain shot in Kamurocho. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, for once, we got the numbers advantage here. You want to take him out? Hell yeah. Rolling time. It's not going to be numbers advantage you for long, fight? I feel like. All right. This should be fun. Dun, 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 dun. I'll show you a fight. Ooh, they stronger. Are you done with all the fun and games yet? All right, none of you are weak to the punchy. What is this battle music? I love it. Or you are weak, and I just don't know currently. Down to shine. Bam. Gun. Ooh, gun is strong. You are not. That was too far too easy. Level up. We are only level 40. This might have been a mistake. Give me your hand. Hide the body. There. That ought to do it. Let's get going. Where'd your delivery bin go? Oh, is there some boots? Intruders! Sound the alarm! That man from He's another one of these alarm. games? I've no idea about you. I don't know, man. Doesn't seem like you're gonna need the help to me. Oh, you got me there. Look at his outfit. Sitting around in this place has been killing me with boredom. Is that Mercer? I don't know about you guys, but I could use a little excitement. Let's get him, Kasuga. I think I found the boss. They wise up and call for help. We're screwed. I feel like we found the huh. boss. You think we'd do that? Not a chance in hell. Never met a problem the two of us couldn't handle by ourselves. Music to my ears. I'll take it. Something about that kind of confidence I've always respected. If I had to guess, you two were officers. Hmm. Not too far off the mark. Good eye on that one. Uh, Eat eye. Ichiban, something feels kind of off about them. I know. Wouldn't expect any less from the Omi Alliance HQ. Look how good the reflection in the glass. About time you guys got that through your heads. Yo. I got a question for the guy rocking the eye patch. Do you now? I've heard stories about a guy from the Tojo clan they call the Mad Dog of Shimano. <laughs> and that wouldn't happen to be you, or would it? Well, who's keeping track anymore? All I'm saying is, if that's you, why the hell are you guarding the stairs of fucking Omi Alliance HQ? <laughs> so you want to keep asking questions? Well, then good luck beating the answers out of us. Goro Majima. ex Tojo clan lieutenant advised him, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Talking kind of big there, aren't you, Majima? Hope you haven't gotten rusty after all that sitting around. Hey, guess hey, Jima. Get out of here with that! How dare you ruin my big setup with that shit! <laughs> I love Don't him. Don't you worry, fellas. I've been itching for a fight for a long damn time. I also love that he's wearing like leather pants and a suit jacket. Let's go. Nothing else. 
It's Goro Majima's comeback tour! I'm pretty sure he's from other games. That's where the downside of me not having played other games is. Ooh, I like this music. This ought to be good. Ooh, we're fighting him one on one? Okay. I love your song, though. Oh my lord, he's strong. I'm scared. That was 600 of his health. Yeah. Just throw that out there. Watch this. All right, we're just going to throw Bring it on. Yeah. Um... We throw a laser at him? I feel like we should throw a laser at him. Mm -hmm. Boop! Let's get nutty. But I suppose I should also save some stuff for the next fight, which I'm assuming is going to be the other boy. So I kind of want to go all out, but also not fully all out. Yeah. Ooh, look how fast he got up! Oh, he moves so cool! Excuse me while I just gush over all of this. I need healing, I think. At least once I- yeah, once we get to Namba, he can heal up. Because he has ally healing. He's got baby healing. But he can at least get to bring it on with this. I got you. Thank you. I'm over here. Apple gang. Oh. Um could you not have multis? Oh no. Let's get it done. Where's the big I should have saved the laser. I've learned my lesson. Oh my god, he hurts. I don't know if I'm high, high enough level for this. Whew! He's next, so I need to use an item on here. We're just immediately gonna die. Probably. Bring it on. On 50 health? 2 health? Health. Is it on each? And you're on. Yeah, that was the correct attack. Ooh. I think I'm too low level, guys. We might have to do some uh, leveling up and start the next stream with this. Hot damn. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to do that. Yep. Alright. I'm too low level. Damn it. We try battle. We try battle. Damn it. Try the battle one more time. This is the first time we've seen the uh, murdery screen. I should have restarted with full um, health. I screwed up. I really like the song though. <laughs> this ought to be good. I'll show you a fight. Okay. Um Damba's just gonna get swapped out immediately, I think. That's what we're gonna do. 
You can do healing. I got this. Skills. We're gonna save the um, laser for when he summons multis. So let's uh, have to eliminate pain from the max. Pepper puts all in a manic state so you barely feel anything. Hmm. I mean, I guess let's do that. Let's see what Mr. Maskis does. Sent him flying. <laughs> Look at that strut. Look at this. <laughs> Uncomfortably numb. All right, so everybody's got like shieldies now. Ooh, he still hurts. Don't worry, he still hurts. Yeah. Are you done with all the fun and games yet? Take this. A gift for you. Ooh, he is resistant to bullets. Get him while he's down, thank you. Um. Hmm. Really need, so let's do this. Kick to the head. Oh, my. He doing perfect blocking. He hurts so much. More pound mates. Um. Restore MP, not really what I need. But, ooh, I could use that next round. For laser. Boost damage, more likely to cause cold. Hmm. I mean, I guess we're gonna call Nancy. I wish you do. <laughs> I will never tire of you, Nancy. Resistant. Alright, next time it's her turn, we need to heal. Nope, she's paralyzed and can't move. That's not great. Alright, here's our friends. Joe. 
Oh. There she goes. Yep. Alright, you're gonna use item. There is our first aid kit. I got this. Oh wait, did I accidentally hit B? Oops. First aid kit. Bring up our healer. I swear to butts if you immediately kick her down. What the hell game? You're gonna be in a they get so many nonsensical attackos. Eyes on me. Mm. You're gonna get stopped. Heal everybody. Check this out. Safety first. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Thank you. Thank you. Watch me. Let's go. I'm not backing down. Try this. Kill everybody. Y'all want to attack June a little bit? That'd be okay. You guys seem to just be ignoring him. Alright, um, set her up, pound mate. You knock out enemies, enemies away, so let's see what you do. My recycle gang go! Are you gonna bike him to the face? Please do. <sighs> Flame tornado. Kaiser of concussion. All right, that's really cool. <laughs> That's a cool one. <laughs> it scares me that even like the clones are still all way up. No, leave her alone for frick's sake. Go after June. Do that before she dies, actually, though. Bye. Oh. Watch me. Okay. Um, Kasa goes next, so he can heal. So we're gonna do another item. First aid. Kayako. Oh no, I think he has uh, exactly too little. Yep, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I'm not that down. Items. Wait, how oh many? One of you heals, right? You're in for it now. Alright, actually, going attack and defense. MP. Ah, uh, omelet. Why don't you work nights? You pain in my butt. Please work nights. Um. Hot better. Yeah, I do want to eat the magic kimchi, but I just feel like I haven't really had a round to be able to breathe and do it. 
which is a pain in the butt. Like, this is hard. There she goes again. Oh, there we go again. Bye. Yep. Alright, yeah, no, I need to do some leveling. We're, we're ten levels under level, and I don't think the game likes that. That's okay. Damn it. <laughs> so we're ending the, the stream on a game over. <laughs> but that's okay, because I will do some uh, off-screen grinding out, and uh, <laughs> hopefully uh, be better prepared to take that on next round. <laughs> Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I hope everybody had fun watching me fail miserably. That's okay. <laughs> it was still a good time, right? Yeah? <laughs> Alright, I will see everyone on um, either Monday or Sunday. I don't know which one. Whatever one I'm feeling. We'll do some Pokemon. And uh, we will continue with the boys, too. Probably later in the week. And I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Bye bye and yes, failing to epic music because the music was epic. I can accept it. Have a good one. Bye, everyone.